Hey, Sleeping 80 family. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? I'm actually going to open up some milk cartons. These Clara and Cyrus Premium Tournament Collection Boxes. I haven't seen too many people open up these. Maybe just with all the Scarlet Violet hype and Crown Zenith. But we're going to open up these today. And we're actually going to start with Clara. The one to me that I don't like as much. <laughs> Just because I don't have as much association with Clara uh, as I do, I think it was Avery. It was the other one. Uh, exclusive trainer that's in Shield, because I play Shield, so I didn't play Sword. Um, we got the open box here. And we got the dice here, which actually look pretty cool. Uh, I thought there was another one. We'll see. And we have the coin, which is super sparkly. Love that. I do collect coins. And we have the sleeves of Calera with Galarian Slow King, which is pretty cool. And Galarian Weezing back there. Some nice sleeves. We will use those. I'll set those off to the side. And we have the promo cards here. And I will open these up. There's actually other cards behind these. If I can get the packaging to open. Let's see. Alright, let's be a little bit careful. And there we are. We have the full art Clara. Let me set her right there. And then we have, here's that code, the three hollow foils that you get as well. This one is a swirl. But you get three hollow foils as well because it's a play set of Clara cards that you can use when you're playing the game. So if you wanted to use Clara, this would be perfect because you can just buy this and you'd have an entire play set of Clara cards. Same would be with Cyrus and we'll get to that one here in a second. So let's leave up the full art Clara card, which looks really cool. I like her in her outfit and her uniform that's used for the battles in Sword and Shield. And of course, you also get, I find these status condition markers the really cool. I like these new updated ones. I already have a set put in my little box that I'm gonna use for uh, pre-release tournaments. And then here is the box here. And I'm gonna keep this as well. I like the design on it really cool and we'll actually set it off to the side because I don't have too too much room in the background but you do get packs with it as well you get two silver three silver tempests two astro radiance brilliant star and a fusion strike so you get seven packs almost as much as an ETB from sword shield era not quite you only get seven but you get the other goodies with it and let's see if we can get any pulls out of these packs. I've opened up one tournament collection box before. It was the June upper one, I believe. Never got to open up the Marnie. That one was super difficult and is still kind of difficult to find. I think after the Marnie one, they decided to print a lot more, give a lot more access to those boxes for people. And there we go, Dredigan into a Reggie Drago V. And we are gonna use some evolution sleeves as well. I'm getting low on penny sleeves. I might have one more package of them uh, hidden away that I need to get. And I'll just go get more penny sleeves. Let's see. So, sweet. Starting off with a double banger. I really like that threading card. It's just a very, very calm <laughs> image of just reading with your Pokemon. And I do like to read. <laughs> okay, next pack. Let's see if the pulls are going to be good in these boxes. I think the ones out of the Juniper one that I opened weren't that great. Ferrisseed, Radiant Alakazam into a Noivern. All right. We got another hit. Radiant Alakazam. Very cool. I am excited for the 151 set coming out. We are gonna get the return of a Cadaver card after so many years. 
and of course it's you know to celebrate the original 151. I would eventually love to see Pokemon do a reprint of the Neo era. I think it's a really really popular era of cards that people love but they just love you know doing reprints remakes of the original 151. We got Worker into a Melodic. But the artwork I've seen so far on some of the cards, it's actually been really cool. It's kind of like expanded or continuation artwork off of the original cards. So if you've seen uh, a few spoilers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it actually is nice artwork. I do appreciate that. Okay. Let's get into Astral Radiance, a set that we recently just finished. So let's see what we can find in here. Hippopotas, Stormy V, oh my gosh. I didn't think I'd pull this card ever again. This is my favorite trainer gallery out of Astral Radiance. It's such a beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, it's so cool, into a Leafeon. Okay, this one's going in a penny sleeve. <laughs> I did pull this one long, long ago, early when I was opening Astro Radiance, and I never thought I'd pull Starmie again. That's such a good one. Oh man, and I remember I pulled the Cynthia out of my Charizard UPC. So just pulling that card out of a pack, a random pack in a tournament collection box is awesome. Okay, this is actually starting to change my mind a little bit on these boxes. <laughs> But Starmie V, that's such a good one. I will be holding it for trade for sure, because I'm sure people need that card. And I might compare it to the one I have. Radiant Heat Ran. We are doing well today. I think there's one pack so far that we haven't got hits out of, which is not too bad. That Starmie V is excellent, excellent card. I'm gonna check the centering of it again to see if the one I have is better or worse. <laughs> Switch it out with the one that's already in my collection and then put the extra one up for trade. I did actually pull the Cynthia in Japanese in my one box of uh, Battle Region. I did end up trading her to somebody who'd never collected Japanese before for a card that I needed think for Astro Radiance or Lost Origin. This is a good trade. We got Muck. And that was out of our Brilliant Stars pack. And then we got one more out of this Clara box and that is Fusion Strike. The largest TCG set that Pokemon has ever made and also one of the more difficult ones to get it pulled from. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a pull out of Fusion Strike. Okay. All right. And this one has no trainer gallery, so we're not gonna get anything in that reverse hollow slot. But it does have some really pretty cards like that Lapras one we just passed. Geodude, Cook, into Gengar VMAX. I've never pulled this Gengar. I never have, so that is an awesome pull. I still do need the Ultra Art, but I never pulled the regular VMAX. I've been very tempted to buy it, but that's super cool. I love this card. It, it's very cartoony. It does remind me of old cartoons, the way his mouth does. But very awesome. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all out of just the first box. And this is the Clara one, which means Cyrus is... is has got to live up to some expectations here <laughs> that Clara has just said. All right, we got a couple of Radiance, a uh, couple of Training Galleries, and V and V Max. Okay, so let's get into Cyrus. I'm pleasantly surprised at that. <laughs> oh, don't want to forget our coin. And here is the Cyrus coin, which also looks super cool. We will try to set that one here. Put the sleeve cards there. Here are the sleeves, which I do love these sleeves too. This is a pretty sinister looking Cyrus with his hunchcrow and Gyarados in the back there. 
That's some fantastic artwork. And we got more status markers. I will show you guys the box and then I will show you guys the promo cards. So you got artwork here. You got a shot of that Gyarados, Haunch Crow, and the full artwork. Oops, sorry about that. You can see it on the back. And of course, oh, this one doesn't have it on there. Interesting. Interesting choices. Unless it's supposed to be in there and they didn't print it on this one. Because they had the Clara one printed on the inside. But then we have our boss's orders card. Which, like with Professor's Research, I always want to know if people use four different types of boss's orders. So you have Lysander, you have Giovanni, you have uh, Cyrus now, and oh, shoot, I can't remember the other one. <laughs> there is another, I think there's another boss's orders that is around. And I know we're about to get one that has Gintis on it. I could be butchering the name, but I believe it's Gentis. So, do you guys play different bosses' orders cards or all the same one? Because I think it would be cool for somebody to play just four different artworks, but still the same card. <laughs> I am curious. So, there are our promo cards and, of course, the dice. I kind of like the clearer ones more. I like that purple. And then, like the previous box, we have three Silver Tempest, two Astro Radiance, Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion Strike. We're going to do Fusion Strike first. We're going to go in reverse order. This way we can end on some, some packs that have the Trainer Gallery. <laughs> Get a little bit of a shot there. Okay. All right. Fusion Strike is an awesome set. I think we just got lucky on that last pack though, because I usually don't get much out of Fusion Strike <laughs> as much as I do love the set because it has beautiful artwork. That is one thing. Ooh, Hollow Landorus. They try to make up for the set. Is I think with the difficulty and pulls, they try to give you really good looking cards. <laughs> but we did get a Hollow out of there, so that's not too bad. All right. Let's get into our one Brilliant Stars pack. See if we can get some good stuff out of Cyrus's box like we can Calera. <laughs> and maybe some alternate arts. It would be duplicates, but hey, I will take duplicate alternate arts. Let's see, Duskull, Grimer, Shinx, Starly, Sharon's Care, Full, or full Art, Rainbow. <laughs> so that is a beautiful rainbow. I didn't think we'd get a secret rare out of here, but that is awesome. A beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Nice way to start it off. I have hope for these. I do have hope for these. <laughs> I just remember seeing the Marnie ones get opened so long ago. And the pulls were not good. <laughs> I think some people would get very, very rarely. It was a very minority. They would get a really, really good box, but most of them were like meh at best. And a lot of them didn't have great pulls at all. So I was hesitant to buy more, to buy any of them. And we got a Hisuian Sneasler. So maybe Pokemon has stepped up their game and made these boxes a little bit better. Or I've just gotten very lucky. <laughs> and... I just happen to get some boxes with pulls in them right now. But let's see. We got this last Astro Pack. And we got our three Silver Tempest. So let's see if we get any luck in these last few. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got that Starmie though. <laughs> it's a really pretty card. We got Mischievous, Irida, into a Sunian Overquill. Put that there. And we got our Silver Tempest. So let's see. We get any luck. Got a Silver Tempest. All right. Let's see, let's see. 
But we're doing pretty good so far. We got a secret rare out of Cyrus. Definitely a little bit lackluster unless we can get some really good cards. We got Reverse Hollow Sigilith into Miss Magnius. So Cyrus has got two more chances, but it looks like Claire might actually beat him. <laughs> Even with that rainbow, that Starmie is still a very pretty card in my opinion. Or you guys may think the rainbow is a bit more. Leave your judgments down in the comments. <laughs> Which box would you guys want to open? The Clara or the Cyrus? I just really like that Cyrus card. I thought it was super cool. Zubat, Wallace, into a Delphox. Okay. We got one more pack. And we will do our good luck boop on Evie and Mudkip and see if we can get lucky on this last one. Can we get some last pack magic? Okay. If you guys just noticed, I'm trying to do a few more shorts, so. <laughs> trying to see if I can get some one pack magic there. All right, we got Krogunk, Solsis, Elgium, Krogunk, into a Zero Aura No Last Pack Magic. We didn't do too too bad on these boxes. I think the Cyrus one definitely was a little lackluster. Seems to be the ones that I enjoy more <laughs> have a little bit lackluster pulls, but Claren gave us some really good cards. We got, of course, all these are duplicates, but we got that Starmie, which is one of my favorite Trainer Gallery cards that came out last year. <laughs> I really love that card. It's up there with the Evolutions, but I really am a big fan of Misty, so I really love that Starmie card. And we got that secret rare Sharon's Care. And all these cards I'm gonna put into my trade binder and you guys will see them on Twitter. And uh, if any of the cards catches your eye, just let me know whenever I post them up for trade. And uh, <laughs> we can always trade for some of the cards I still need for sets. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. So as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.